all sound devices mixer recorders record polyphonic wave files. Some mixer recorders, such as the 8 series, can record both polyphonic or poly files and monophonic or mono wave files. The Mix Pre series only records polyphonic files in audio mode. In basic mode, the polyphonic file is a two track stereo mix, and in advanced mode, the polyphonic file is the two track stereo mix plus any armed isolated tracks. So, what's the difference between monophonic and polyphonic wave files? Monophonic wave files contain only one audio track per file. If you record six tracks, your left and right mix bus, and four isolated tracks, the result will be six separate wave files. Polyphonic wave files contain multiple audio tracks within a single file. When you record six tracks, the result will be one wave file containing all six tracks. Each track of a polyphonic wave file can still be isolated when played back or brought into your digital audio workstation or DAW. Some DAWs and NLEs support both polyphonic and monophonic files. Others require polyphonic files be split into individual monophonic files prior to import. Sound Devices Wave Agent for Windows and Apple computers offers a split combine tool that separates a polyphonic file into multiple monophonic wave files. Wave Agent can also combine monophonic wave files from the same recording into a single polyphonic file. Wave Agent preserves all relevant metadata and timecode stamps after splitting or combining files. Let's split a polyphonic file using Wave Agent with a file recorded on a MixPre 6.2. If you haven't already, download Wave Agent from the Sound Devices website. Find the link in the description below. Remove the SD card and mount it on your computer, or put the MixPre in file transfer mode. Import the poly file you want to split into the Wave Agent take list. Note that each take in a project folder is listed as a single poly wave file. Once the file is imported, select Split Combine. Select the destination for the files to be saved and click Process. If we look at the destination folder, we can see we now have six individual wave files. When a polyphonic wave file is split, channels L and R become 1 and 2 respectively with all the ISO channels following. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time for another Sound Devices tutorial.